Hello there. This is Rom Wills and the lovely Miss Mocha Angel. Hello. Our review of the season finale of Insecure. Low key lost. Oh man, that might be the most enthusiastic y'all hear me. This was the episode. I was I was sitting there like, you know, they they come back next year. Don't you put comedy on the title? Does it just call it a regular show? They could go an hour, do an hour show or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, that was intense. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is the only thing I can say. Um, it's like I was telling you, I only had two pages of notes this time. First page was all covered. Mm -hmm. By the time, like, something major happened right in the middle, I was just like, what? I was just captivated by this episode. Ooh, it was a lot. I mean, seriously, um, I mean, seriously, they should just, seriously, in all honesty, they should just, I mean, yeah, they had a comedic moments, but even the comedic moments in this show, that was mm -hmm. intense. That was intense, that was, too. Yeah, that was intense. So why don't we just get started from the beginning? Okay. All right. What you have? Lawrence got the job. <laughs> all right. Hey. All right. <laughs> He got the job, and you know what? One thing, uh, just the, I mean, really great acting because he was giving a thing. I was like, wait a minute, there's something else, there's something else. But I think he was nervous what, what Issa wanted to do. And Issa was like, you know, too long, just only 45 minutes away, or I could even come up there with you. I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got something to say about Lauren. Oh, okay. I do, okay. even before, like, the big stuff at the end. No, I, I wrote down, he is a little too wishy-washy for me. I still like the brother. Mm -hmm. I said that last week. I'm, I'm Team Lawrence, okay? I am front mm -hmm. of the Lawrence Hive, for sure. However, mm -hmm. he's just a little too wishy-washy. I wish he would just say, I wish he would have just said the episodes before and mm -hmm. then tonight, like, listen, I just want to be with you. I want you to be my girlfriend. I want to make this work. You know, let's be together. Instead, mm. it was like, well, what do you think? And I'm like, dude, just, mm. just say it. Okay? Yeah. That's how you feel. Just say it. So anyway, that was my thing. Oh, no. I mean, that's a realistic thing. I mean, the thing mm. is, he, he is still growing. Mm -hmm. He is still growing. And I understand that. And that's, that's a legitimate concern. And I'm mm -hmm. quite sure the Lawrence haters are going to light him up anyway, <laughs> especially for uh, what happens <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah. But when we will get to that okay. point, All though, because right. then the thing was Andrew and Molly were at that black attorney mm -hmm. event and mm -hmm. they were checking out all those people. And, you know, BJ comes up now. Mm -hmm. For those who follow this who are familiar with Cousin t -Tar, they say he was the office me. He said he was the office me because the women were talking about him in that episode. Oh, uh -huh. OK. You know, and that was that was a that was a big thing too, mm -hmm. um, with that. But you mm -hmm. know, that was something you could still see. That was yeah, still the tension, tension between Andrew and uh, Molly, and that's yes. going to come up later on. But we're going to take these things one at a time. We'll okay. get to that. Mm -hmm. Issa went to Nathan's barbershop. He shows a space for the event in the back. I mean, I guess it's right. a small event. That's cool. And mm -hmm. one thing about Nathan, because you said the wishy-washiness of Lawrence. Nathan, I give it to him. He told her just straight up. <laughs> Thank you. Like, look, he was like, you know, mm -hmm. I felt some type of way. You know, I apologize for what he said. But, you know, he was always, I mean, for all the issues he was dealing with, that's one thing you got to give to him. Mm -hmm. He went straight up with it. But she told him, you know, what the deal was. But you know what? He was still cool about it. You right. Know, at least on the surface. But he was still cool. It was like, okay, it is what it is. So you mm -hmm. know, what, what were your thoughts on that? I appreciated his candor. That's what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Just say it, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, women appreciate that. Just be direct. She might shoot you down. She might uh, respond. But just say it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she shot him down, of course. Um, and I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but that's going to be, I think, well, now, well, now there's a big question mark, but prior to the end of the show, <laughs> I was mm -hmm. just thinking the, the two of them being friends might not be a good idea for him. Mm. That's too much pressure on him knowing that he can't be with her, that she's with somebody else. Yeah. So that's my yeah. take on it. 
Yeah, but with the end of the show, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they might come <laughs> up. Well, you yeah, know, not things are different now, but that's okay. Yeah, but then the next thing came up, uh, Molly and Andrew at the place, and you know, mm -hmm. Andrew, Andrew was just like, you know what, this shit ain't gonna work. Here we go. This ain't this gonna shit. work, though. Because it's always <laughs> about her, her, her. Right. He's like, he's always doing what she wants. She didn't want to do any of that. He's letting her know. He, he's letting her know and stuff. But then, you know, some up, some comes up. And that's the major thing, Tiffany. And Tiffany, but wait a minute, there. wait. Before we get to Tiffany, though. So okay. you called it, a lot of things I, I called, you called him in some of your uh, commenters call. So okay. you had said, you know, I think he's going to try to break up with Molly. Because mm -hmm. um, you saw it coming. And because he noticed her behavior, she wouldn't hang out with, with his brother. And every time she wants to do something, he does it. But when he wants to do something, She's like, oh, you know, maybe later. In other words, he told her, like, we always do stuff on your schedule, mm -hmm. which is true. I mean, it's yes. very true. And I, I was like, he called her on it, but he was done. He was like, yeah, we're over this. And then, and then they talk later. But let's, yeah, like you said, let's talk about what happened with, um, with Tiffany. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, when they were trying to talk, she was getting that call from Kelly. Kelly just stayed on it. This is the most serious we ever seen Kelly in the series. She was like, Tiffany had disappeared on everybody, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, so they at Tiffany's house. I mean, Tiffany and Derek's house. And mm -hmm. There was one thing in, because, uh, you know, before the show, they always show something, you know, kind of what led up to the story. And yes. I missed out on mm -hmm. when, uh, you know, Derek and uh, Lawrence were talking over mm -hmm. the baby a few episodes ago and Derek said, you know, we, you know, we didn't want to have a baby this soon. Mm, I remember so, that, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that probably lends itself to some stuff. And, you know, they, they looking around for her. They, you know, her family was there. I guess that was Tiffany's mom. And, I guess so. And her sister, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they were, they were trying to find her. She had just disappeared. Now, I ain't gonna yep. lie. I ain't okay. gonna lie. I was thinking, oh, uh, is there another dude? And you okay, know, you know when it was, you know, all the stuff how they were checking her down and everything, mm -hmm. going to all these places, like almost like a detective type of thing, mm -hmm. you know. And you know they were at that place, they were looking at the camera and then right. all of this stuff. Well, they went to a hotel first, and then mm -hmm. you know Derek had something on his phone about a. a lift ride and you know Issa mm -hmm. was like oh well she probably went to this place yeah went there looked at the camera then they took a bus to where she likely was right they found it and you know it was a little bit of drama on the bus the bus driver didn't want to stop oh that white guy was next to Kelly trying to get his rap on to do something mm -hmm. you know and then the bus stops in the middle of uh you know they get off the bus because Derek just pushed that button. That was Derek that pushed that button, right? I think it was Kelly. Kelly, yeah, that sounded like her. She pushed mm -hmm. the button, they got off, and you mm -hmm. know, the bus driver getting the cops, and uh, yeah. you know, he had that white guy, and the white girl, I don't even know what she was there for. I don't know who she was, but huh? Yeah, you know, and then, you know, Molly had to be attorney and stuff, and you know, point out the, how the situation was looking, and that was cool. But yeah. then they found, uh, you know, of course, Tiffany was at the hotel, they went to the right. room, right? you know, Derek, and she's coming and got the shot. And I was like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, mm -hmm. Tyler Perry flashed through my mind. I said, there ain't gonna be some like big old homie gritty dude, like, hey, who's that at the door? I was, no. like, I was like, they ain't gonna do that. I'm serious, I'm sitting no. there like, oh, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't. I was like, oh, good, they didn't do that, but. No. Mm -hmm. They didn't really explain, you know, why. It was just oh, we know she just had to get away. I mean, yeah, it was probably the baby was too soon or she's having trouble there. And then apparently her and Derek weren't, you know, the relationship wasn't as perfect as they probably gave the impression of. Oh. No. Which no. I always kind of peeped anyway. No, 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 no. I called it, what, two episodes ago. She has postpartum depression. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what it is. And, yeah. um, and once again, it's the mental health piece in the show, yeah. and which I appreciate. So, you know, everybody's going through something and they need help. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And um, this was her cry for help. She just like, she said, because I didn't know what else to do. She just had to get away. She needs mm -hmm. help. She needs treatment. Yeah. And um, so she can bond with her child. Yeah. So, yeah and heal her important. marriage too. Yeah, because it was obviously some stuff that we didn't see because they were never like, yeah, they mm -hmm. were part of the show, but we didn't get to see the deep stuff. And right. that's one thing I always, the vibe I always got through all the seasons so is like, okay, something's up with this. Yeah, and not really showing it, isn't that? It's like, and you'll get that with some couples, especially on the upper class. Mm -hmm. You know, especially on the upper class, you'll have a lot of stuff that uh, looks good on the surface, but mm -hmm. not dealt with. Like it's like, oh, we're going to just skirt all over all of this, but mm -hmm. not deal with the stuff we really need to deal with. Right. You know, and that showed it. And I, I mean, it still left it, but it's almost like, okay, we're going to leave that for next season. I hope so. Because that's yes. going to be a story question. It's like, okay, what's happened? People want to want to know. Absolutely. Right? People want to want to know. But then that was one thing. And then the next day, mm. Andrew and Molly talk. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And that's when he lets her know. Yeah, what were your thoughts on that? It was coming. And you know, basically, he wanted to break up with her. He said, maybe we're not compatible. I don't think this is working. And she didn't want to break up with him. Mm -hmm. She wanted to make it work. She was willing to go to counseling. She was willing to do whatever. And I didn't write down the exact quote because, again, I literally wrote, wow. I wrote M, um, M plus A, wow. Because I was mm -hmm. just like, whoa. I mean, my man is just landing on the line. Um, and she says, he said something to her like, what is it that you're really fighting for? Mm. which I thought was like one of the biggest questions of the night because I was thinking the same thing. It was more like, this is the longest relationship either one of us have ever had. And I, I thought to myself, are you just trying to hang on to this so you won't fail? Mm. See, that was, that's what he was saying. Mm. Or do you really want to be with this man? Mm. Those are two different mm. things. Oh, yes. Okay, so that was a question that Andrew posed to her. She had to really think about that. Like, well, I, mean, I don't know. So that kind of hung in the air as mm -hmm. well. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so shoot, that's another story question for next year. <laughs> and then. <But. laughs> yeah. So let me say this. <laughs> One of your commenters called this last week. I don't know who mm -hmm. it was. When I saw that, and that was like way in the back of my mind mm -hmm. when she said, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. And and somebody was like, hey, what about? Mm? And somebody was like, no, nah, no, nah, she's too classy for that. Well, as we mm -hmm. see, <laughs> class, yeah. money has nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, no, you know, the human function is there regardless. <laughs> only thing <laughs> yeah, only thing class had to do with it is he wasn't going crazy like you know uh, like yeah you gotta deal with this but you right. know set it up Lawrence comes in he goes over to Issa's place and you know he's looking real nervous and stuff he said Condola came over last night and so you know at that point you're thinking hey did they hook up he decided right to with did they hook up and that was actually kind of good how they filmed it because they showed the conversation with him and Issa and I was like oh man yeah technical point of view that was great it was great like, hey shoot anybody who ain't seen it well we're giving spoilers so y'all know it well alert it's pregnant condola <gasps> is pregnant i was like and lawrence wasn't handling it well because i mean he told isa straight up hey you know this happened before they got back together mm -hmm. we know right. that we saw that you know they had broken up Mm -hmm. And, you know, it would take a few weeks, maybe, how, how long would it be before a woman knows she's pregnant? A couple of weeks. It only takes a few weeks. Oh, okay. Whatever the case, mm -hmm. I don't know how long. Well, yeah, we, we don't got a good sense of the timeline after that, uh, you know, after the events, you know, at the beginning of the season where they say one month before the event, two months, you know, all of that stuff. Right. So I don't right. know how long it was, but whatever the case, she was real calm and she was just mm -hmm. like, she going to have this baby. Because mm -hmm. Lawrence was just like, you know, kind of saying, hey, mm -hmm. he didn't say the word abortion, but like, you know. No, he didn't say it, but he just asked, are you going to keep the baby? Yeah. 
That's yeah, how he said. So she's like, yeah, she just let him know, you know, you can be as involved mm-hmm. as you want to be. And she's like intense. And and that, you know, on a on another note, a little bit of deeper issue, you get a lot mm-hmm. of professional women who, mm-hmm. you know, at that level who will want the child to the point Absolutely. they'll they'll keep the child. And the father just was, you know, some cases might be involved, a lot of cases a de facto sperm don't. Mm-hmm. So, but she's pretty much let him know. Yeah. And see, I have a feeling from Lawrence, you know, just from the family he came from and everything, you know, if the baby's there, he can't probably just say, oh, I'm going to roll out. Now, this is interesting because, you know, he just got a job in San Francisco. He got right. a corner office. He got a team. This is mm-hmm. serious. Yeah. So it's like and now a woman that he's not in a relationship with has a baby in another city. So I'm like, oh, man. But then how Issa, Issa, that, that hit Issa because you know, she's like, wow. So what, what are your thoughts on all of that? Man, there was a lot to unpack in those few minutes. Mm-hmm. I, like you said, I love the way they told it because you saw like all three of their reactions kind of like at the same time. Mm-hmm. Even though it was, it was told, it was like the, the, the story was told like um, they like interspersed the conversation. It's going to saw all three of them. Okay, let me start with Issa. I just felt for her. I was like, mm-hmm. Lord. But I was glad she wasn't the one who messed up. <laughs> like, okay. I need to say that. <laughs> okay. Everybody was waiting for her to do something crazy. No, it was Lawrence this time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I felt for her. I felt for Lawrence because remember he said early in the season um, to one of his friends, he said it's always something. He's like, either like the relationship is right, but the, the job and the money is wrong or either the job and the money is right, but I don't have a relationship. You know, mm-hmm. he's like, I, why can't I have it all at the same time? And I mm-hmm. know that's what his, he was feeling like, damn, you know, I got the job and I got Issa and okay, we're about to be there. And then boom, mm-hmm. somebody else is pregnant that I'm not with anymore. Mm-hmm. And then for Condola, you know, she's like, okay, me and this dude broke up. I'm pregnant. You know, she's probably, you know, in her 30s, she's a professional woman, she's got the money, and she might be like, this might be my only chance to have a kid. She's going to have this child. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, again, I know plenty of women like that. They like, damn the father, I got the money, I'm going to do this myself because I'm going to get another chance. Mm -hmm. So I felt for all three of them. Mm -hmm. I really did. And I thought it was the twist that just came out of nowhere, Mm -hmm. you know, so wow again just wow yeah. yeah and it's it's like yeah everything's working yeah you're right for lawrence i mean okay he got <laughs> the job he mm-hmm. got the money he got the woman he really wanted to be with yes and she was ready she she, she was like hey i'll go to san francisco mm-hmm. you know because yeah. you know at that point i mean you know her and molly were still feuding right and you know she could probably leave you know, just Skyped or whatever with Kelly and Tiffany, you know, so she didn't have much had hope in it. And she probably could have got, you know, mm-hmm. her and Lawrence up there together. She could have got her business going up there, more money flowing up there. So it was like, right. yeah, she could still do her thing. But mm-hmm. who she got hit. She got hit. Right. Yeah. So that 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 was powerful. It was almost like it was it was almost like uh, you know how you had some of those movies i can't think of a it was a movie like that like everything was perfect till you get to the end and it was mm-hmm. like oh wow i can't have mm-hmm. this happiness that that's that's tragedy and stuff you know mm-hmm. and we don't know what's going to happen you know is she going to still stay with lawrence you know if, it, if all of a sudden it's like hey you know nathan ain't that bad but then you know that's going back and forth and then <laughs> We still don't know what happened with Molly and Andrew. I mean, they got these story mm-hmm. questions. Tiffany and Derek, mm-hmm. you know, what's, okay, what was up with them? Because she still didn't say. She still didn't say. You saw her there. And like I said, I ain't going to lie. She answered the door with the towel on. you like, <laughs> you like, is there a dude there? Is yeah, somebody with you? you? Know, I don't think so. You know, Big Elmo or something, you know, coming through or. <laughs> Delray or something, you know? <laughs> no, not in this case. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, I know. You know, it's not the Tyler Perry, like, not a Tyler Perry show, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but, <laughs> yeah. 
That, okay. that was crazy. But how they ended it was interesting because the Ethiopian mm-hmm. restaurant was there at the beginning. And, you mm-hmm. know, when they showed the preview of it, people were trying to figure out who she was going in there to talk to. Right. You know, so she she going in there is Molly. Yes. And it was like, you know, because they didn't really get to talk during that thing with Tiffany. They had to focus mm-hmm. on her, mm-hmm. you know. But they, right. you know, they finally got to meet again. And they didn't really, they didn't say what they were saying, but you could mm-hmm. tell they were talking and that's how it ended. And you're just like, okay. So I right. guess they probably like, you know what? We both got these jacked up situations. <laughs> right. Man. You got to talk it out. Because Andrew, Andrew's pretty much gone. No, not necessarily. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Tell me why you think. He'll because stay remember what I said last week. So Molly, this next season needs to have her dark night of the soul. She needs to have her come to Jesus moment. And so because she is in therapy, because Andrew told it like it was, because she saw what happened with Tiffany and, you know, again, the lack of communication between her and Derek, that's what happened with her and Issa. That's what happened with her and Andrew. She's starting to see the light just a little mm, bit. Like you can see the okay. door starting to crack, okay. you know, but she's like, okay, maybe it is me. So, mm. That's why there's possible hope, and she's with a dude who's actually willing to tell her the truth. Okay, mm. and that's the kind of man. And what well, everybody needs that. I'm just saying, she finally has a man like that. Mm-hmm. So no, don't don't count them out just yet. Oh, okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. But yeah, you know, Tiffany. I mean, not Tiffany. Uh, <laughs> Issa's whole thing. I mean, okay. Issa. I mean, everything was moving up, and then. You know, guy with the guy she really wanted, and now all of a sudden this baby's there. You know, and I have a feeling with Lawrence, despite what he's saying there, you know, he kind of wanted a baby. Yeah, he did. He was a family. Yeah, right. Not at that. Yeah, not at that moment. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, wow. So this is this is wow. So overall, I mean, what's your overall impressions? I mean, what would you give that? Okay. First of all, that episode was really, really good. I mean, it kind of took my breath away. Okay. It really did. It was like, man, this mm-hmm. is a trip. So as far as the episode itself, I give it a 9.25. Okay. okay that's my highest of the season. And 9.5 last week? Eight, eight, oh, crap. Was it 8.5? Again, roll table. <laughs> hey, look, it was up there. Okay, let's just it leave it there. there. It was up there because, you know, like I said earlier, the intensity, you know, they should just drop the comedy thing off of there. It was like, you know, you didn't laugh a lot during this season. (laughs) You really did. No, I really didn't laugh a lot this this season. And when I laughed, it was usually Kelly saying something crazy, like Uh tonight. And, um... And even in that situation, like you said, the context of the situation, she was trying to diffuse tension constantly, you know? Um, so it was very intense. Um, okay. So I give it a, somewhere between a nine and 10 for this episode, okay. which pulled up the whole season for me, somewhere between like 8.5 and a nine. I mean, okay. it, it pulled up the rest of the season. Um, and I still say the Thanksgiving episode was one of the best too. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, but the writing, the story, the directing, the everything, like everything just got better this season. For yes. sure. And it made me, it ended in a way where I was like, I have got to see this next year. I mean, mm-hmm. and see, I never said that before. So mm-hmm. it was really interesting. It's really interesting. It's compelling. Yeah. It got compelling. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I probably, there'll probably be some people clamor and say, you know what, I got to get this to an hour. Because it was just it so gone much. Hour. Yeah, mm-hmm. just get, get, let's stop faking like it's a comedy. It's not very funny. This is some real stuff people going through, mm-hmm. you know, because even, the, even you know, when they do say stuff funny, it's still in the context of every day. People say funny stuff every day. You know, <laughs> people do laugh. So, I mean, it's just yeah. like, wow. And so, I mean, everything in there, you know, the issues with uh, uh, Derek and Tiffany, Molly and uh, Andrew, Mm-hmm. And oh, especially this thing with Issa and Lawrence. It's almost like he just, he was almost there. It was like, oh, almost there. It's always some little thing to get over. 
Yeah. You know, and it's not going to be easily solved. Like the easy solved thing is like, oh, Issa, be happy. You know, mm -hmm. Lawrence got this baby. You got to get together. You can be like a stepmom. It's like, no, right. real life stuff don't work that way. Because, <laughs> no. you know, you still got Nathan in the picture. Right. And Nathan don't look like the type who would necessarily give up on stuff. Like you said, he's directing. He might be just sitting back waiting. As soon as he hears this, here and he he might not say anything. He'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and, and then his, just chill. <laughs> Go ahead. And just he'll just wait. He'll lay low because he called he called not Andrew. He called Lawrence mm -hmm. some timey last mm -hmm. last episode. So mm -hmm. he's thinking this brother gonna mess up and do something stupid at some point. Mm -hmm. So you know I'm not we me and he's not done yet. So mm -hmm. I agree. He's just gonna lay in the grass for a little while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah. you'll pounce when the time is right. Yeah, you know, Issa come out, you know, she's like, well, I'm not talking with Lawrence anymore. <laughs> and then Nathan be like, oh, baby, I'm sorry. Hey, hey you want to get something to eat? Right. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Oh, we could just be cool, you know, nothing. Yeah, sure. Come on. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> I just want to mention, because I did write this down, um, was this again, the love letter to LA and to Kobe and to Gianna and to Nipsey Hussle, you mm. know, and I know in real life that Issa is, was friends with Nipsey Hussle. So, um, mm. you know, she, you know, she gave him a shout out in the show. And yeah, I yeah, so that. That too. yeah, and that's one thing. And, you know, just uh, beyond the storyline, that's one thing um, mm. with what Issa Rae does, she makes sure you like stuff is she she throw her stuff in that's why we yep. say for next season this whole COVID thing will be thrown in absolutely you know, one way or the other it'll be thrown in or well, one way or the other I mean because they got to pick up the storyline exactly where they left off but you know she might try mm -hmm. to say okay well mm. I don't know it depends on the timing and everything but they even if it's later on in the season she'll find a way yeah She'll find she'll find a way, even if they just mention it, it's like, oh yeah, this COVID thing's going around. Something. But something will happen, yes. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so what I mean, the whole season, it was pretty good. I it was the best season ever. And it was mm -hmm. definitely the stories were intense. It drew you in more. Like the first season, it was just kind of like, oh, this is a cute thing and everything. And you know, at the first three seasons, but this season, it took it up a notch. And that's what happens really with a lot of good shows. They don't necessarily start, they'll start off decent, but there's always mm -hmm. a season, episode, something that mm -hmm. takes it to a new level. So, I mean, it's, all we can do is just sit back and um, wait for next year, you know? Yes, absolutely. This is a show that's gotten better. It is yeah. seasoned very well. And, you know, all I'm thinking is compelling. Like I said earlier, it's like, I want to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And that's all you can really ask for in a, in a good story. That's what you want. If you read a novel, you want to turn the page. You want to be like, what happens next? You're watching a TV show. I mean, it's more like a drama, not necessarily comedy. But in a drama, you like, I want to know what happens next. So mm -hmm. I'm there. I am I'm there, there for season too. five. I'm there too. So... Well, with all that being said, Miss Smoke Angel, I want to thank you. For, thank you. <laughs> uh, doing these uh, reviews with me, and you know, some people said they want to do some other stuff. If something's good and compelling, maybe <laughs> I give them that. If it's good and compelling, can't it can't it it it, it can't be something stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, check out this show. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah once you do this, I'm like, show dumb as hell. What are you doing? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So I know somebody said Atlanta, and I agree. Um, and I have seen all seasons of Atlanta in the past, and they are. It is a very good show. Atlanta. Um, oh, it yeah. is. Oh, it yeah, is. You hit me to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. That's a. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's we'll a see about that. If it comes yeah. back. Yeah. We'll. Yeah. We'll see about that one. Okay. You no. Know. But anyway. I want to thank you. I want to thank you again. And I want to thank everybody for sitting down, tuning in, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. And especially to that gentleman who said Condola is pregnant, shout yourself out in the comments. Yeah, tell, yes, yes, please, brother. You said it. Yeah, you called it. You spotted. You like, she's pregnant. 
<laughs> yeah, so yeah, this this should be interesting. So anyway, that'll be it for y'all. I want to thank y'all for listening. Peace and blessings, everyone. And like I said, just hit us in the comments. So peace, y'all. Thank you.